to be fair, there are, and this one is pretty obvious, but there are some people who don't want to finish school to be successful. And it's like, it's pretty, what, what I liked about, about what she did is that mm. decision is like pretty common when it comes to other people. Mm. Um, where, you know, if they feel like, like, you know, school and education is might just gets like, might get into the way of what they want to, to do. <laughs> So, um, hello, Brat fans. Welcome back to another spoiler chat. Yes, you've been warned. This is a spoiler chat. So, if you haven't seen uh, the season finale of Chicken Girls College Years, I suggest that you stop watching or listening to this video right now and go check that out. So, uh, I'm joined here with uh, Brandon Peter. What's up, Brandon? I'm good. I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, um, Brandon, first of all, uh, what do you think about the Chicken Girls season finale? That's the Chicken Girls College Year season finale. Well, I think that I think it was pretty good to be to be fair. At least justice was served in the finale, and mm -hmm. at least at least it had a nice ending to it. Yeah, and there was no there was no cliffhanger like you know the last season was. Yeah, there, there was actually no cliffhanger this time around. I think Brad, mm -hmm. Brad TV is taking it slow and steady with the cliffhanger. Um. Mm -hmm. You you said you made a statement. You said that justice was served. We are we are still going to get to that. But um, first of all, I want to talk about Barry's decision uh, not to date Spike. What do you think about that? Uh, do you think um, do you think it was the right thing to do? You know, not dating Spike for for the second time. You think it was the right thing? Uh, for Betty to do and also you know that from the finale we saw that she 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 quits okay i won't say she quit school but she's about to quit school and you know yeah, work for to drop. yeah she's yeah. about to drop out and work for holly so uh and work with holly so what do you think about her decision to be fair there are and this one is pretty obvious but there are some people who don't want to finish school to be successful and it's like it's pretty what what I liked about about what she did is that mm. decision is like pretty common when it comes to other people, mm. um, where you know if they feel like like you know school and education is might just gets like might get into the way of what they want to to do yeah. with their future and they just they just drop everything is like enough is enough and I leave. In my opinion, if that's her decision, if she wants to leave college to do what she wants to do and not wait. Uh, until she finishes college, that's her decision. I have no problem with it, to be her, to be honest. Mm -hmm. What about her decision on about not dating Spike? I think it's a, I think it was a good decision. Mm. I mainly just because I understand that Spike well has changed, but remember who was the because I think I made a post about this since Spike was the reason why Birdie has this fear of. Um, yeah yeah cars. i remember you said that you said that in a review uh months ago mm -hmm. that uh, birdie has this fear of, of driving and um cars because of spike and that accident she had yeah. i think it was the season finale i think it was on chingo season three in the finale where she was at the hospital yeah because of that accident and i don't think she wants to experience like something like that again yes how would i know if the same exact thing is going to happen if she did date um spike for the second time i don't know but i feel like something similar to that would happen yeah so i still think it's best for her to not go back to um spike and focus on what she wants to do for her, her own future yeah yeah i also think it was a good idea for her not to date spike uh making that decision to be honest i've been so scared uh ever since i saw spike in this in this uh, uh in this uh show like I was, I was Spike doing here, you know, barely going back to Spike. That would be a very, very bad idea. So I, yeah. I, I love her decision of, you know, deciding not to date Spike and also giving Spike a condition, telling Spike that he can't also break up with Holly. Mm -hmm. I love, I, lo I love that. I love that. So, um, what, what do you think about, uh, Kendo? Kendo revealing that she was uh, actually jealous of Rooney, like. Two out of those old things, Kendo, uh, Rooney's roommates, you know, we all know that Kendo have been treating Rooney in a bad way and suddenly this finale, she tells us the whole reason why she did what she did to Rooney, that she she's jealous uh, of Rooney. What do you think about that? Well, 
I think, okay, like, they, thank goodness that she finally was honest and told her the truth. But, like, the way that she did it just to tell her that, I don't like. Mm -hmm. And I'm, really, I'm pretty sure um, that wasn't really the best thing to do, especially if that person is your roommate. Uh, but at least, at least... Um, they le at least they're not they're no longer enemies and they're friends. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I, I think. I I I understand what you said by you know you don't like the way it all happened the way she confessed and everything. I I feel like she she needed a friend actually because she she had none. Um, mm -hmm. she needed a friend because she had none. So she Rooney was Rooney was the last person was the last person or would I say was the only person she knew. Uh, she could go she could go to and talk to it's just like when Rooney actually needed a friend and decided to talk to uh, and decided to talk to her best friend uh Betty. so that's that's what I feel like happened to Ken what she actually did was not it wasn't intentional it it just happened she just came into the room crying and you know we we know that Rooney Rooney is caring in in her own way so Rooney just had to ask her um what was it was what's going on with you and she just started talking so anyway i i love the fact that the both of them are now friends and are in good terms so it's it's kind of awesome uh so talking about talking about takedowns talking about takedowns like you said so what do you think i this this it was crazy you know us discovering that chelsea is actually the one behind province town t it's it's a surprise it came as a surprise to me like I I I had no suspects. Like it it didn't even occur to my mind. Like who is behind Province Town Team? But knowing that Chelsea uh, uh, is behind Province Town Team, what do you think when you you saw this? What do you think when you heard about this? I, actually, I also didn't know that she was uh, behind behind uh, Province Town Team. I actually didn't know that. Um, but it kind of makes sense considering the fact that she was going to do whatever it takes to make sure to to make sure to uh, ruin ruin Rooney's life. life. Yeah, yeah, because she thinks that she that Rooney stole um stole a chat from her, which was not even which was not true. But you know, yeah. Uh, I I don't even I don't even want to talk about Chad. Chad, uh, anyway, Chad, I would just say Chad is not actually one of the main characters. I think that's why uh, there isn't much storyline to his acting. Also, because he's just, for me, he's just uh, uh, in the background. Uh, this show is actually uh, between, uh, the show is actually about the fight between Rooney and Chelsea with Ke uh, the drama with Kendo and so on and so forth. I think Chad is not actually the main story because if Chad was the main story, uh, I don't think Chad, Chad is a Chad is a player. He's a player. He's mm -hmm. just he's just playing. He's just playing every girl he sees. He played he played with Rooney. Uh, now he played. He also played with Kendo. Uh, that is so that is so not cool. That is so not gentle of him. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, I don't I don't even want to talk about him. I don't even want to talk about <laughs> him because he's not. I don't I don't, I feel like he's not he's not uh, actually one of the main characters of the show. So, mm -hmm. um, let me let me talk about let's talk about uh, statement a statement that Rooney made actually at the end of the scene. Uh, she said that she she have always wanted to have a group like the Chicken Girls for as as long as I know. She was never part of the Chicken Girls from season one to to uh, uh, when I say seven. She was never part of the Chicken Girls. She was just a friend to Betty. Uh, yeah. What? So she was never. Uh, a part of the chicken girls so but now she has statement that she wants uh, a group she have always wanted a group just like the chicken girls i don't know why she never joined the chicken girls is it because yeah. what do you think is it because she was older than them or what because uh, uh, according to the story we, we all know that uh bed was a little older than the whole chicken girl uh crew yeah i i still yeah i'm still surprised to this day that rooney is not a chicken girl and she still is not a chicken girl even though he's she's great friends with the chicken girls yeah uh but i i, I actually don't know either it's uh yeah. crazy that they go, that they uh you know go ahead, go ahead. oh she, she's it's crazy that she i don't know why she 
doesn't want to be a dream girl. Like the fact that um, what's her name? I think Astrid. I think Ryan's yeah, Astrid. Like, yeah, Ryan's Astrid, cousin. Yeah. Yes, Astrid became a chicken girl way before Rooney did. Is it's just shocking to me? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna correct. I'm gonna correct you on that. You said way before Rooney did. Rooney is still not a chicken girl. Oh right, 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 right. Thanks, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but I think for me, I would use the word Rooney is the new, uh, the new beginning of Chicken Girls. Mm. Because I I have a feeling that uh, the original Chicken Girls is going to end at season ten. Uh, but Brad Bra Bra TV is just trying to you know confuse me a little bit with the new characters and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh on this on this coming season ten of Chicken Girls. Uh, but I think rooney rooney is going to she's going to start her own girl gang and which will go by the name of chicken girls that's why it's called that's why the show is called chicken girls college yes that's chicken girls in college you get mm -hmm. so she's going yep. to start her own girl uh, her own girl group also called the chicken girls. so she's like the new beginning of the chicken girls mm -hmm. so uh uh, that's it i don't think we have any i don't think we have any anything else to talk to uh to talk about i say talk to to talk about that's what i mean uh so we are going to leave it we are going to leave it as i hope that we're going to get a season two soon a season two of chicken girls colleges i, I think we i think we might i hope so yeah i i love the show although the, the show was rated so poorly from the beginning fans are beginning to love the show like me i i love the show i i i do too I love the show so uh thank you so much guys for joining for watching uh brendan thank you also for joining me uh make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and and stuff uh don't also forget to follow us on instagram at the bright universe and also you guys can go ahead and go check out uh brendan's page brendan is one of one of i would say one of brad tv's greatest fan brendan you're one of what brad tv's greatest fan mm, i wouldn't i wouldn't say greatest <laughs> fan but yeah i am a, i am a great i am a huge fan of the I, warrior ever since you know chicken girls even pre was premiered mm. so okay quick question how how long have you been watching brad tv uh i've been watching brad tv um let me see i'm trying to do math um i've been watching brad tv ever since 2017. wow you said yeah. you 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 are and even that's why i said that you are one of the great i said you are one of the greatest fan i got i i started watching brand tv in 2020 during covid mm. so um i'm i'm like really really I'm, I'm i'm late i'm late to the game so you you have been there for a very for a very long time like brad recognize you they repost uh your stuff on twitter and mm -hmm. sometimes yeah so that's why i said that you are one of so guys uh go go check go check out uh his brandon j peter right brandon j peter on instagram and well no well it's his, brave brandon yeah 12. brave brandon 12 brave brandon yes. 12 on instagram uh what's your twitter handle again same thing same much. thing okay okay so guys go go check him out at uh, brave brandon 12 so Brendan, thank you so much for joining, and the fans, thank you so much for listening and watching. We, uh, Brad Universe, uh, we love you. We love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for, and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>